So let's proceed with the next step. We need to install NetBeans IDE. Of course, you can install Eclipse in case that you are an Eclipse user. But uh, we will just show you how to get this NetBeans IDE installed on the computer. So first of all, we go to the NetBeans web page. So, we choose the platform, the language, and everything we want to download. And we here we put some specific data. In our case, we will download a complete, a complete NetBeans without support for all technologies. We will download the complete NetBeans. It should start automatically. Once the download is ready, we proceed with the installation. If you want, you can customize this and uh, add a patch of some card or whatever you want to add. And then, steps. Yeah. Or you don't want to install JUnit. So this will be the path. And it automatically detects that you have Java installed in your machine. Can continue in case that you want to configure something you just change the path patches fish everything if you want to check for updates that's good to give it some time so once it finished the pro installation progress you can in your case that you want to contribute to not be giving your anonymous data, you can continue, but normally you don't do that. We open NetBeans, and then by the first time we need to configure. Don't show this page in the startup. Let's just create a new project with whatever, for example, Java application. So it starts, it activates Java. You see, now it's a bit bigger here, and we have more options. So now we have the editor option, and we will configure the formatting. So for our Java, we, we configure our tab size to 4, and we expand, we disable this option. This is our standard in the web server. So in case that you want to submit something for our repository, you will always need this configuration. Right. So this is the first one. The second is in Java, maybe. That's clear. Clear. Sorry. So you automatically is chosen the maybe home. So you choose it here, and that's all we have to do. That's all. So NetBeans is configured already. Thank you for watching.